Hello, hello. So I've just been paid, and as usual, I thought, what can I do with my paycheck? I'm just gonna buy some more mantids. I've still got a lot of empty enclosures back there, so I wanna get them filled up. And I decided to have another look around at Mantis Marvels, the people I got some specimens from previously, and they've done such an awesome job. I uh, really wanted to get some more from them, and I had some things in mind which they had in stock. So yeah, they've arrived today. Let's have a little look through them, and I'll show you exactly what I've got and what my plans are. I just want to take a minute as well to really big up Mantis Marvels. It's not like it's a sponsored video or anything. There's no way anyone's going to be sponsoring my videos. Um, but they just do a really amazing job. Um, they give you a little care sheet, which really helps out if you're kind of new to the hobby. Um, then they give you a little introductory thing that talks about how to kind of deal with your Mantids when they first get here. They also provide just a little breakdown of exactly what they're eating, which a lot of people might not know what to feed them, you know, what stage they're at in their development. And I think anything like that is just a nice little touch. It can be difficult to gauge sometimes. If you're new to the hobby, you might not know. And also, and I think I'm the first one to get this because they put a little note on it saying it's the first of their new stickers. They got, gave me this little thing, which is the Mantis that I actually got, or one of the Mantids that I got from them last time, the Panther Mantis. Well, that's what I think it looks like. It's got like the cool little leopard pattern on his legs. Taracadula pantherina, I just had to double check, that's what it's called. Yeah, really cool, getting a nice little collection out of stickers. But anyway, let's have a little look through exactly what we've got. So these three here, I'm gonna to put to one side for now, and we'll do those last. I'll have a little chat through each one first, and then we can look at rehousing them. So this one is a Mada Madascan, Madagascan marbled mantis. And this is a hard one to pronounce, Polyspitola aeruginosa. Polyspitola aeruginosa. These Latin names just don't sound as cool in a common British accent, do they? And the next one I'm really excited about because I had this species probably quite a while ago now, maybe a year ago, and unfortunately it passed away. So I'm hoping I have more success with this one. And this is a cat's eye mantis. Uh, Hetra, what is it? Hetracheta orientalis, that's it. We'll get a proper look at these in a moment because these are really stunning. Just the way that they've got these cool, like alien looking feline eyes, very cool species. And then in these three parts, I have plans for another little project. Uh, these are all orchid mantids, Hymenopus coronatus. And my hope is that we'll have a male and a female somewhere within these three, and then we can try breeding them, which I'm really excited about. They're a little too young at the moment, but hopefully luck will be on our side and there'll be a pair within these three that we can then breed and reproduce. If not, I can always pick up an adult at a later date when it's once we know what the sexes are and it's a little more clear. But yeah, awesome, exciting stuff. Let's get them rehoused, and then we can maybe talk a little bit more around their housekeeping and get a little bit of a closer look at some of these species. Alrighty, so I've got some enclosures now set up. I haven't got as many as I thought I did actually, so I'm probably gonna have to put one of them in this little temporary plastic cup. Because I've got a lot of nymphs at the moment, but plenty of big enclosures for them to grow into, but I just need to get a few more smaller ones. But this will be absolutely fine for now. It's a Basic setup, serves the purpose, it'll be absolutely fine in here, it just doesn't look that pretty, that's all. The mantis won't care. So, first one, Madagascan marbled mantis. Let's have a little closer look at this fella. Oh, he, no, he's trying to make a run for it. He's a little hopper, that's for sure. Come here, he's jumping all over. Oh my God, he's so springy. Chill out, stop jumping around. Don't wanna lose you, cause you're very tiny. This little guy, so I just had a quick look, should get to around eight or nine centimeters. Look how hoppy he is, see if he, let's see if he does a little jump. There you go. Um, yeah, eight to nine centimeters. The females can be quite brown, the males, I'm really gonna have to keep an eye on him because I'm worried he's gonna jump somewhere and I don't see where he goes. Come here. Very flighty. Females are sort of a brownie color. The males 
a more green and brown with obviously a marbled finish, hence the name Marbled Mantis. Very curious little chap though. He's certainly got a move on there. Let's get you in your new home before you disappear somewhere. I've never seen a mantis hop around that much. That's, he's got a lot of energy, that's for sure. There you go, you can jump around as much as you want now. Oh, this next chap, I absolutely love this species, the cat's eye mantis. I think I'll have to make him a custom enclosure. But for now, because he's quite a size, what is he, L4 at the moment. We'll pop him in this one, which should be perfect for him for now. All right, would you like to come out and say hello? What an amazing little guy. So cool the way he kind of looks around. He looks so fascinated, like he's taken everything in. I absolutely love this species. So this chap's a lot, a lot greener than the last one I had. Um, I'll have to have a proper look. Possibly female. And they like it a little bit warmer. A little bit less humid. The main thing with these guys is just the molting. And I think the enclosure I've got here He's hopefully going to kind of provide everything for now at least because it has a lot of verticality and it also has a lot of horizontals as well for him to or her to grip onto when the time comes for a molt. But they have a lot of personality these guys. They just seem more kind of aware of their surrounding, surroundings. I mean I'm probably sort of anthropomorphizing a little bit here. It's just the way they re they react and they kind of look around when you get them out. Just like they have this innate curiosity about what's going on. Let's stop gushing over him and get him inside. Don't want him to get too much of an ego. Looking good, we'll leave him to settle in there. Yeah, really pleased with that. And then finally, we've got our Hymenopus coronatus. Three of these little beauties. Just beautiful little guys. Look at his little Ric Flair walk. Doing a little strut. A little too young to sex at the moment, but that's okay. As far as looks go though, these little guys are just amazing. They really do look incredible. But yes, let's get them in their new homes. Go for a basic setup for now with them. And then over time, once they've been through a molt or two, we'll be able to move them into a proper enclosure. They do like it more humid. So we'll get some fauna in there for them to sit on. Oh, this guy's a little more speedy. He's got a bit more attitude about them. And as these mature, it can be quite easy to determine the sexes because the males get a, I can't remember which way around it is, I think it's the males have a brown band, like a collar, females have a green one, and you can also tell by the segments, in fact the males have more abdominal segments, and also the females are about three times as big as the males once they get to maturity. And also the pretty little kind of flares that they have on, like the little, um, I don't remember the name for it now, but like the things they have on their legs that look like little petals, they become much more pronounced with a female. Oh, this guy's very, very jumpy. Calm down. You're all good. Some slight colour variation with them too, which is cool. Interesting to see how that plays out. All right, that's everything I've got for you today. Be interesting to see how these guys develop and what the future will hold for these. Maybe we'll have our own little army of orchid mantids eventually if these guys make it to maturity and successfully breed. I'll definitely be providing updates on how that goes. So in the next video, I'm gonna have a focus on my jumping spider because it's got an egg sac and now the young are starting to come out. 
It did have a previous egg sac that I removed, but all of the young died off. And I'm not sure why, I've got some inklings as to why, but I'm hoping to have more success with this one because I've left them in the, in the enclosure for longer now before taking them out. But we'll go through that next video. That's everything I've got today. If you like this kind of content, I post videos once a week. I do have an Instagram and a Twitch in the description below. But thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.